Check it, friend. If you feel disconnected from yourself in any capacity, I'm going to show you a hack that's going to help you connect not just to yourself, but to your best self, okay? It's super duper simple. All you got to do is respond with, uh-huh, if it's true for you, uh-uh, ew, uh, any of those noises, if it's not true for you, you can also go, mm. like it doesn't matter what noise you make. You just gotta practice making these noises because the reason you feel disconnected is literally because there's sounds coming from your guts, your sex organs and your digestive system that you're completely ignoring because you think that your thoughts might be better or that life has shown you that the smart decision is the right decision to make. Fuck that, we're just gonna practice, okay? So get ready, take a deep breath and exhale. Are you outdoors? Are you hungry? Are you a man? Do you have any brothers? Are you a woman? Do you have any sisters? Do you feel emotional? Is there anybody you're angry at right now? Is your physical body clean? Do you feel like you're carrying a weight that isn't yours? Did you get good sleep last night? Are you excited about what you're gonna do later today? Are you experiencing any pain in your body? Are you in a relationship? Do you want to be in a relationship? Do you feel appreciated? Do you feel taken advantage of? Is it daytime? Do you feel hot? Do you feel cold? Do you wanna learn about why this is super helpful? Wonderful, take a deep breath. Exhale. So if you made it to this part, congratulations. You are a cut above the rest. Most people have the attention span of a goldfish. And if you actually finish this exercise with me, you're on a good path. You're on the right track. So this exercise is called a sacral calibration. Now the sacral in the human design body graph is right here. In the body, it's right here. It's where the ovaries or the testicles are or the digestive system. And this is where creative life force comes from. This is where we generate all of our energy to do the things that we believe and we feel satisfied doing. Now the magic of this center is that it doesn't have a language outside of uh-huh, uh-uh. That's the language of it. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't do this whole, well, she thinks this and they're gonna think this and all that. It doesn't do that mind game. But the problem that most people have is that they're completely ignoring or suppressing these sounds and that's why you feel disconnected from yourself. So doing something like this simply puts you back in contact with something that, again, you either are ignoring or suppressing. Now it's worth saying that 30% of the population is not inherently connected to their sacral in the way that the other 70% is connected. For 70% of the world, and this is for generators and manifesting generators, your gut is always going to tell you what you have energy for and what you don't have energy for. For the 30% of the world that are projectors, manifestors, and reflectors, your sacral is not always going to tell you about you. Sometimes it's going to tell you about other people. If you don't know which type you are, go to ReikiMarco.com, generate a body graph, it'll tell you right there. I also have $20 reports that is probably the most affordable thing on the market that you can get for human design that is gonna tell you all about your body graph and how to use your circuitry and human design to literally live your best life. The secret to all this, of course, is practice. Like you have to put this information into practice. And if you did the video earlier, like you, you participated with the whole uh-huh, uh-uh thing, you've been practicing. You took a step towards yourself. Great work, keep doing it. Because practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. And unfortunately, we've practiced a lot of shit that has made things permanent that really don't vibe well with us. By I'm generalizing, like we've all done things and practiced things in our lives that in our later years, we're like, man, that was a shitty thing to solidify in my brain. So this is one of the ways that you can start to return to what's natural for you. You just have to let go of what's normal. Like, follow, share, and thank you for participating in your own life. Peace.